Mr Farage, two and a half minutes. Thank you. As Mr Muscovici said at the start of this, the leak of all these papers and lists of people with offshore holdings has come about because of the Society of Investigative Journalists. But what's not been said this morning, and I think is relevant, is that the funding of these investigations came from one George Soros. Now I say this at a time, I'm going to come back to so what, and it may have some personal interest for you as well. I say this at a time when the use of money and the influence it may have had on the Brexit result or the Trump election has reached a level of virtual hysteria. Just last week, the Electoral Commission in the UK launched an investigation to find out whether the Leave campaign took offshore money or Russian money. This came about as a result of questions asked in the House of Commons by one Ben Bradshaw, somebody linked to an organisation called Open Society. I just wonder, when we're talking about offshore money, when we're talking about political subversion, when we're talking about collusion, I wonder whether we're looking in the wrong place. And I say that because George Soros recently gave Open Society his organisation, which of course campaigns for free movement of peoples and supports supranational structures like the European Union. He recently gave it $18 billion. And his influence here and in Brussels is truly extraordinary. Open Society boast that they had 42 meetings last year with the European Commission. They've even published a book of reliable friends in the European Parliament. And there are 226 names on that list including yours, sir. I thought, I thought you'd find this interesting. We even had last week Mr Verhofstadt lobbying on behalf of Mr Soros at the Conference of Presidents in a battle that is going on with Viktor Orban, the Prime Minister of Hungary. If we're going to have a debate and we're, and we're going to talk about full political and financial transparency, well, let's do it. So I should be writing today to all 226 of you asking some pretty fair questions. Have you ever received funds, directly or indirectly, from Open Society? How many of their events have you attended? Could you please give us a list of the meetings of all the representatives, including George Soros yourself? And I think this Parliament should now set up a special committee to look into all of this. And I say that because I fear we could be looking at the biggest level of international political collusion in history.